the third thing that I wanted to ask before we get back into some of these things in more detail is whether or not you think there's something intrinsically valuable to a human being conscious. Right. So the more I study the matter, the less it seems to be morally important and the more it seems to be pragmatically important. I find I find this to be a very interesting answer uh, because th- I've, I've also been thinking a lot about metaethics and whether or not there are moral facts and properties at all. And if you think that human life and consciousness aren't valuable, things that ought to be promoted, it just seems like that is maybe the sort of canonical good thing. And if you don't think that this is good and morally important, then you're probably a moral anti-realist and you don't think that there are good or bad things more generally. Right. So, um, well, I mean, as a, as a neuroscientist, I do think morality is a product of the brain. And I do think morality stems more from emotion than anything else. Right. So the moral realist, uh, um, there, are, there are debates in philosophy about what these terms ought to mean. Yeah. Thinks that there are mind-independent moral facts. Yeah, that's so right. So you're a moral anti-realist on this classification because you think that moral facts are mind-dependent. They're things we generate. Yes. On the other hand, I got a mind. Exactly. And so I have morals. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, of course, uh, I'm a moral person and I want to support certain things and I'm very much against other things. Um, and, um, and I think morals are typically very, the basic set of morals are really similar across people because our brains are very similar and we evolved in similar ways. Uh, and we're all enmeshed in human cultures, which share similarities. Uh, so, um, there's no question I, I you know it, it goes back to what I was saying about the color white like you can understand intellectually in one way but you are a user and so you cannot escape the other um, angle on it I think this is the same thing with morality I can understand intellectually the idea that morality evolved um, and it's part it's a construct of our brains and it's really useful in any kind of larger social system that's the intellectual side yeah. But I'm also a user, and I got them. <laughs> I this isn't something I want to get into too much depth with, but you've said a number of very, uh, I mean, this whole conversation you've been saying very interesting things. But in particular, a couple of words you just used are pragmatic and useful. And within metaethics, there is a a, a family of views called moral quasi realism, oh. and the moral quasi realist does not believe that there are these mind-independent moral truths, but they think that, again, speaking very loosely, that we ought to take a pragmatic and useful attitude toward these terms and recognize that we have minds that experience the world in a moral dimension, that they're very useful qualities for living as people, and so we ought to be pragmatically moral realist. I see. I, I see. Is, is one way maybe of yeah, putting yeah. it. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I would say that it's not a matter of what we should be. We are. Mm-hmm. And when I look at it, when I put my scientist hat on, my interest is in what is and how did it get to be that way, not in what it should be. And so you look at evolution, how did these things evolve? I'm not interested in how it should evolve or how it should in the future. Uh, I think it is pragmatic. It is useful. It did evolve because it gave a survival advantage to um, creatures that live in um, communities or social communities to develop these ways of thinking. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I would advocate we should be moral because it's useful to us. I think I would say we are moral <laughs> because it was useful to us through evolutionary time. And that is why we are. As for what we should be, I would say, um, as a user of a brain, I have all kinds of strong morals and strong ideas of what we should do. 
and what we should do in my mind is based on the internal use of those morals mm -hmm. like we shouldn't go around hurting each other i'm quite certain of that mm -hmm. and it's not because it's useful it's because i feel it it's yeah my morals <laughs>